Hello there. So I have a draw of shame. Um, I go to several business meetings, networking, etc., and are told that a draw of shame is not a very good thing to have. But I have a draw of shame and actually found something that was really useful in it. Um, so my name is Andrea Jackson and I'm an avid believer in, in ensuring that the learner and the employer is at the heart of the training provision. I help training providers to feel confident in the face of an Ofsted inspection. I ask learners, employers and staff questions based on the educational inspection framework to gauge the impact of the training. I then identify themes and support the providers to add and drive through systems and processes that improve that impact. And this means that Ofsted inspections are not to be feared and continual improvements are made with the emphasis on quality. So what did I find? Well, um, I actually found um, some notes um, from when I was um, I did a, a degree at uh, Open University 2013 and found some notes. And what it was, it was part of um, a, a research pack, you know, the resources pack. Uh, basically and um it was called study problems and i've got notes here because the, there's a lot um and basically what it was it was the problems that you may have to draw in study um and when i looked at them um i thought basically it's problems that we are we still get now but also um it's obviously problems that our apprentices uh, get when they're trying to study so i thought it might help um trainers um, when we are faced with um, problems that our learners may have. So I shall start. Um, so the first problem was, now I think it's like an agony aunt. Um, so the problem is, I find it difficult to get down to studies. Um, now I found this, uh, and I think when whenever we're doing any studies, don't we, we always find a really good excuse why we can't do it. Um, uh, for me, it was a fact that, oh, I have got to do the washing up. I'm, I cannot do this. But actually, we know that putting pen to paper down for the first time is the hardest thing ever. So we've got to get through that. Um, and the solution was, uh, was basically to chunk it down, to, to, to look at one study task to focus on or to say, right, well, I'm going to study for 10 to 15 minutes. And after that, I'm going to have a break. Um, as I say, what happens is instead of looking at like the whole thing and thinking, oh, my gosh, I can't do it. You're going to put it down in in bits. Um, you can also find a, a different place to study. Uh, sometimes sitting with everybody else isn't isn't easy, but also having a place that you identify as being your study place is also actually helpful. Um, the other thing, uh, another problem was I get easily distracted when I study. I agree. I also get easily distracted. Now, the, the solution is, is to ensure that you let your colleagues, friends, family know that it's your study time uh, and put your answer phone on. Don't answer the, uh, the, the phone, um, which I think for some they might find it difficult, but that's what you have to do. Um, it also talks about avoid a heavy meal um, or alcohol um, before a study session and organize your study space so it's comfortable and you can find everything easily. I know from my um, the way I work, I like tidiness around me. I get a bit um, fraught when things aren't so um, aren't tidy. So I make sure that at least my office, my, my desk space is um, tidy. Um, Another problem, when I am working on one study task, I worry about all the other study tasks that I need to do. I do that all the time. And it's at work, isn't it? You're doing one thing, but in your head, you've got all of the other things that you need to do. So it says here, focus on one thing at a time, but regularly review and check your priorities so that you know what's got to be done and when. And also do a small, manageable to-do list. By small and manageable, your to-do list should not be more than three items so that they can be ticked off. Please don't add um, tasks on because then it's a never-ending story and then you find out that you're not, you, you, don't, you don't look at it again. 
problem i can't seem to stick at study for a long time now the solution is that basically your concentration time is usually about 20 to 30 minutes so have a quick break after 20 or 30 minutes now with experience you'll find that you can extend that study time but if you break your work down into those small tasks, you can keep up with those 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, now, I love this one. Problem. I can only work under pressure. Now, a lot of people think that this is a really good thing. I have to have a deadline. I have to work through the night and I will put my, my piece of work in in that morning and everything's great. Now, studies show that this is not great because actually your your um judgment your scores your um, grade could be better if you'd have planned it better equally as bad as that is having too much time so basically you're doing it too early and then you're procrastinating and then you're going all over the place with your your studies that also is not good is that there is a um a a, a best time to do it so that you have got you've got a deadline but you're not so close to it that you're just bashing you know but with the with your the laptop getting anything out because that's not good it's also not good for your health um now their solution is this may be just a habit so try planning your time for the next unit and make an honest assessment of what works best including the judgment from your tutor because that's the thing it's all very well going oh I, I, you know I, I got that done and it was fine i love that but actually, if your grades aren't good, it, it's not fine. Problem. Sometimes I'm just too tired or fed up to study. Now, the solution is to review your unit progress and check what still has to be done. Now, it may be that you are too tired and you can at least organize study notes or work or whatever. Problem. I'm confused by my unit material and guidance notes. Solution. Take a break. Speak to your tutor. Make sure that your tutor knows. Now, what I thought that we could um, do with these is that these could be discussion points for you and your learners, because we all know that we have problems in our lives when study is difficult. It is difficult. There's lots of things going on, particularly in this uh, environment. There is a lot of things going on. So the thing is, is to use these talk about it with one of your reviews about how people are getting on and whether they are having study problems as i say this these sort of things get you to the heart of the learner and that's what you need to do you don't want to be doing i need to be doing a, um, a review so i'm going to tick a box this is really finding out to the heart so i hope that's helped you um if you want it's really good if you share a comment so if you've got any study tips that you can give to others that would be fantastic so add those down in the comments if you think that there'd be another colleague that you think would really uh, would like this post and would like to be involved in this post then please share it that would be great um, it's on the quality 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 facebook support group um, if you want to be part of that just pop it on the facebook that you 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 press invite and um, I get your request and I let you in um, because it's a nice tight group for tutors and nobody else. I don't want anything, anybody that's not involved in apprenticeships because that's not helpful for us. So, as I say, um, if you would think a, a, a colleague would like it, please send it to them. Add a comment. That would be great um, because I love to have the conversations um, going on. And uh, that's it. So thank you so much for your support. Really enjoy um, listening to your comments and really do appreciate the support. You take care and I will speak to you soon. Bye bye.